breaking right now. First at four, police arrest six teenagers in connection with the rape of a Seminole County student. Good afternoon. I'm Jim Payne. I'm Meredith McDonough. The suspects are accused of attacking a teen near Winter Springs High School last week. Flash Two's Dave McDaniel live at the school with the breaking information. Dave. Jim Winter Springs investigators have put in a lot of hours working to build a strong case, and they started working on it starting last Thursday afternoon. This afternoon, six teenagers were arrested in all. Five went to juvenile detention, one went to jail. I believe our case is solid. Winter Springs police chief says he has a case based on science, as well as the statement from the high school victim. She and the six boys went to a wooded area right near the school last Thursday afternoon, and there the chief says things got out of hand. Made it very clear. Um, uh, that she did not want to participate any longer. In fact, she wanted to leave and go back to the school, and she was prevented from doing that. Two of the teens are 16, three are 17. Because they're underage, we're not naming them. They went to juvenile detention. 18 year old Torino Batten went to jail. All six are accused of sexual battery and false imprisonment. The chief says the victim is doing the best she can. My understanding is she's quite uh, understandably upset. Uh, her mother is upset. The school district says all 16s are Winter Springs High students. Because they were arrested for felonies, they'll be immediately suspended and won't return to Winter Springs High. As much as the phrase no means no is stressed, the chief says that was ignored in this case. It got to a point where she felt the need to indicate to them that no is no, and, and it, went, it went beyond that. And the Winter Springs chief told me that he knows that it's been a tough few days for a lot of parents of students here at Winter Springs High School, a lot of uneasiness, a lot of anxiety, but he says he needed to take his time and build a strong case, and he believes he as an investigative team have done so. Reporting live in Winter Springs, Seminole County, Dave McDaniel, West News.